Hey, 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 and hello, everybody, and welcome to Brain It On, a puzzle game meant to test your total brain power. I've been referred to as a pretty smart individual before, <laughs> so I'm gonna test if that's true facts or if I'm a complete idiot. I've seen people play this, and it looks like a silly children's game on the outside, but it is actually the most rage enticing game I've ever seen. I don't know how, but it can withdraw a lot of anger. You stupid looking Circle, you can go f It has the ability to make you so extraordinarily angry. In summary, it's a difficult intellect puzzle game. Puzzle game? I don't know if you could- I don't know if you would classify it as a puzzle game, but... Rain It On will challenge your brain with loads of levels in which you'll have to draw a solution to the problem. Each puzzle can be solved by drawing something, but it's up to you to decide what to create. And we're gonna start off with... <coughs> Three stars! Guys, it's a top hat! Trust me. Nah, but this looks fairly simple. Or not so simple, cause I'm a f idiot. You just have to do this kind of thing. What? Oh, left wall. I'm so f stupid. What's your profanity? Well, then just do this. Nice and steady wins the race. Tilt the shape to the right. Alright, I've done this multiple times in school. And it, and it three stars again. This isn't so bad. Now tip the glass onto the ground. Um, like this? Oh, what is that? Like this? Are you f- Now that's how you do it. I bet we're going to get three stars on every one of these. Place only two balls in the glass. Simple enough. Come on, roll. Come on, roll. That's it. And I have my trusty drink with me so I don't dehydrate from all this thinking. <laughs> Stay hydrated, kids. It's so inspirational, bro. Place an object inside the glass. Well, simple enough. We're going to create something I call the sledge. Place a little ball over there. And then a massive ball over here. Oh, I can fill it in. And then... Oh, okay. There's something I have to do to fling it over to the other side. Um... Place an object inside the glass. But what if I just make something tilt over like this? Oh, that's that's so close. That's gotta be it. Yeah, that's it. Place an object inside the small box. This suddenly got a lot harder with this box. Maybe the same technique works. It does! I gotta be one of the smartest people here. Now, lift the ball off the ground. Easy enough. That's how you do it. Get the ball out of the bowl. Like this. Woo! No? Alright. One ball like way higher up. That's surely going to fling it away. Are, are you kidding me? That counts? I guess it counts too because it's still in the bowl. Remove the cap. Let's do this like a crab claw and like put some insane weight on it. Ah, not that long. That did it. Make the magnets touch. Well, easy enough. Like this, and then this. Just do it like a triangle. Alright, separate the magnets. Uh, we'll have to add some weight onto there, I guess. God damn, that's some weight. Very nice. Get the ball off the stand. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! Make an object touch the red area. Just touch? Okay, no, I need something more blingery. Uh, okay, no. Yeah. Beautiful tea. Um, like this. Easy enough. Make the ball touch the right wall. Can't I just do like this? Or is that not a wall? Okay. First something like that. Then something like this. And then a long curve like this. Come on, five seconds? Four seconds? Yeah, you got it. Are you kidding me? Now I have to use only two objects. Okay, that could work. That could work. Come on, one second. Come on, you got this. 0 0.9 seconds left. But we got the three stars. Balance the platform. Okay, I'll have to replicate one of those cubes, I guess. Oh, that looks balancing. Whee! Why are you sliding off? Maybe just a line works better. Yeah, that looks so much better. That works... 
not as good. A shorter line this time, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, you know you want to balance. Okay, uh, oh, there and there. Come on, balance. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Well, that time is not looking great. I just gotta find the perfect balance. It takes a couple tries, but I think I'm gonna get it sometime this month no come on that's just yes it is that looks a heck of a lot better okay separate the magnets okay it says i'm allowed to use two objects but i'm too smart for that i'm gonna use one how seriously how strong are these magnets bro why is it so hard to separate them oh come on that's come on they're basically separated Yes, finally. I knew that strategy would work eventually. Oh, we've done a lot of stages. And holy, there's a lot of levels left. But you know what they say. These nuts. Time flies when you're having fun. Another one of these involving magnets. I have almost no clue what to do here. Maybe something that makes them go under. Because you know, this little thing, it is there for a reason to like separate them. Almost. I just need both of them to pull down. But how do I do that? I'm gonna try making this. Oh my, oh my god, that worked. Oh, it kind of looks like a butt. Okay, now I want to get the ball out of the jar. But how do I do that? Oh, oh my god, that actually worked. Simple as that. I just needed one object. Whoa, this looks different. Uh, okay, so this is my plan. I'm gonna make a ball bounce from there onto there and then a double flip into this glass. Come on, watch me. Oh my god. I had a maximum of 15 seconds and I only needed three. Guys, I think I'm just too good at this game. Okay, so now I'm gonna lift the orange box off the ground. This is gonna be easy. Okay, I imagine something like a another one of these crab claws like that takes it upwards. Like that, but it needs to stay up in the air. Oh my god, this looks ridiculous. What the <laughs> Oh my god, that's big. <laughs> Okay, this is actually kind of hard. Hey, dog, you get some ice cream? It's only a spoonful. Okay, this is kind of difficult. Because I don't need to just lift it off the ground. I need to keep it off the ground. Which is starting to become impossible for my mind to comprehend. What if I, like... Oh? Oh my god, I just found it. I did have to use two objects, though. Oh, but that's fine. Place the ball in the orange box. Smash it in! Hey, dog! Make the ball hit the left wall. Come on, you got two seconds. One. No, oh, you ain't gonna make it. Dang. Yes, that's definitely gonna hit. Oh my. One millisecond. Are you kidding me? Okay, I need to get a better time result. And there's nothing more efficient than trial and error, I guess. Maybe? Possibly? No, that's not gonna hit. Uh, I need speed. Am I fast though? Ooh, maybe. This got potential. No, that's too. That's too slow. <gasps> one millisecond. Talk about luck, am I right? Um, I mean skill. Oh, this is a different one. Make the ring touch the right wall. All right, I imagine it's like one of those hamster balls. Come on. Oh, okay. What if I do a ball in the ball? Okay, that didn't help at all. Uh, okay, this is definitely harder. Ooh, ooh. No. Yeah, this is definitely a trickier one. Or so you think. Now I'm gonna show you how it's really done. <laughs> Because in this case, you have to actually think outside of the box or circle. You have to boop it forward with like, it's like an arrow pointing it to victory. Why are you in the way? Maybe not the best approach, but inside is more... You know what? Let's just dump stuff in here. <sighs> Oh my god! Still have my sanity with me. Or at least some part of it. Oh my god. Yeah, that's definitely the farthest I've ever gotten. Let's try something like similar to that. <gasps> oh my god! Are you fucking- You stupid looking circle, you can go f- Oh my god! Yeah! Oh my god, dude, I couldn't be happier. Sorry, I had to go take a tiny break, because that last one- Oof. 
was intense. Clear all objects from the platform. Okay, so if I want to get all of these away from the platform, I imagine I have to do something similar to a hammer, like that hammers them away. But with that, I need a lot of force. I mean, that's two objects away. Maybe it's better if I do it from over here. Okay, so look, I just figured this out. You can make an object and then release that object and then put it onto something that you're holding. Oh my god, then I can do something like a sledge, like something like this. Yeah, that looks really promising. Oh my god. Yeah, that's definitely it. Oh, oh, oh my god. God. But wait, I can't do that because I can only use one object. What if I use something like this? <gasps> oh my god! Alright, I did not expect that to work. Wait, what? Oh my god, are they counting my creation as a thing? Okay, I just need to replicate that with a shorter thing. Ooh, wait, that will work. That will definitely work. I need to find a balance between not too long and not too short. Please, please! Yeah, that doesn't count. Make the ball touch the right wall. And in the path of the wall, there's a minus that will correspond to the boss sign. And that will make them attract with the power of chemistry and all sorts of other stuff. That's a great point. So if I just do this, it should be theoretically touching the wall, but it will just stick to the minus point. So my theory is that I make a super long stick. Oh, I get to use three objects. Okay. We'll start with one of these so we can roll on it. But then I need to get it on top of it. Or maybe I just make a huge weight with enough force and power. It could. Okay, now that's just disappointing. Ooh, maybe. Oh, and you had to stop it. <gasps> oh my god. That was perfectly executed. Okay, this is also a tricky one. Okay, this is a similar one, but it's upside down. Oh, okay, that was close. Because our goal is to get it out of the red minus area. I guess. Ooh, that looks promising. That is exactly... Please touch the ground. Yes! Man, That this is becoming easy. I thought that it would become harder the more I play. What in all tarnation is this? Okay, hear me out. This is going to be a special object. I'm naming this object... The catapult. What? Nah, that should account. This game is clearly rigged. This game just want me to feel like I'm dumb. All right, I'm gonna end this before I get the urge to smash something. And we got a perfect three stars on every single level we played. Ahem. If you want to try out these challenges for yourself, the game is linked down in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. You stupid looking circle, you can go f-